हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल फिजिक्स विद एन के भट्ट टू लर्न कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन टू गेट नोटिफाइड फॉर एवरी न्यू वीडियो लाइक गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एन के भट्ट वंस अगेन विद यू यू हैव बिन वॉचिंग द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर फॉर वेव ऑप्टिक्स टूडे आई ब्रोट अनादर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ वेव ऑप्टिक्स दैट वुड बी हेल्पफुल इन सी बी एस ई बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रिजनल डिस्टेंस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेथ ऑफ फ्रिंजेज एंड इंटेंसिटी ऑफ फ्रिंजेज ऑप्टेंड इन डिफ्रैक्शन एट सिंगल स्लिट सो लेट इज बिगिन विथ टूडेज टॉपिक फ्रेजनल डिस्टेंस वी हैव सीन द डिफ्रैक्शन अकर्स एट सिंगल स्लिट एंड द लाइट स्प्रेड्स इन द जोमेट्रिकल शेड और रीजन ऑफ द स्लिट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हियर about the fresnel distance so let us see what is the actual concept of fresnel distance just seen the text here the maximum distance of a screen from the plane of the slit for which spreading of light on the screen is equal to width of the slit it means the light will not enter into the geometrical shadow region for this distance if the distance of the screen is more than this distance then only the light will spread into the geometrical shadow region of the screen it is approximately the limit of ray optics uh, one more important aspect you should understand here that this limit is the limit of ray optics if we are far away from this then the wave optics would be applicable means the diffraction will take place Uh, for the distance greater than fresnel distance divergence of light is seen on the screen this sentence is indicating that if you are at a little more distance from the fresnel distance then the diffraction effect on the screen will be seen if we combine all these three parts mentioned here then in conclusion we can say the fresnel distance is the maximum distance of a screen from the single slit for which diffraction does not occur and the light does not enter into the geometrical shadow region of the slit now let us see everything we have discussed here with the help of diagram how does it happen uh, this is the single slit and we are having a monochromatic source here that produces the light of single wavelength so this is the light produced by the monochromatic source and it is spreading into these two lines shown here if the light does not bend or does not enter into the geometrical shadow region then you can see these two blue lines which are parallel to each other they are indicating us whether the light has entered into geometrical shadow region or not now we will choose the positions of the screen uh, at different locations uh, starting from away from the slit and moving towards the plane of the slit this is the first position of screen which is away from the plane of slit then you can see the light has entered into the geometrical shadow region on both the sides if we move the screen near to the plane of slit then we can observe the spreading area is reduced if you compare both of these positions of the screen the spreading area is more in first case it is less in second case in the same sequence if we move the screen towards the plane of slit that you can see here then the light is not entering into the geometrical shadow region the light is confined only within this region which is equal to the width of slit so this distance which is the distance between slit and the screen is the limit of ray optics it means the ray optics is applicable up to this distance and this distance is known as fresnel distance it is denoted by zf it is clear from this diagram the concept of fresnel distance now we will find the expression for the fresnel distance for the purpose we will use the idea and formula we have derived in the previous sections of the lecture one more thing you can see if we are away from this fresnel distance then the wave optics area is present there so wave optics is applicable in this region that is distance more than fresnel distance and ray optics is 
applicable in this region where the distance is less than fresnel distance. Let us see how to find the expression for fresnel distance in this section. Uh, for fresnel distance spreading of light is equal to width of the slit on the screen. Therefore, we can write lambda d upon d is equal to small d where lambda d upon d is the region of spreading of light and d is width of the slit. Then fresnel distance is given as d is equal to z f this is the distance of the screen from the slit then lambda into z f upon d is equal to small d. If you cross multiply it is z f is equal to d square upon lambda. So, this is the expression for fresnel distance by using this formula we can find the particular value of fresnel distance for the given data of lambda and small d. I hope you understood the concept of fresnel distance in this video. We will meet very soon in the next video. Till then keep watching, keep learning.